Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your November 2017 reading. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these decks so I'm only going to shuffle them for a moment before I lay out the cards. Again, this is for Sagittarius for the month of November. What do you have for Sagittarius? I will zoom this in a moment. zoom it in. The basis of your reading is the judgment card. Wow, looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right. Okay. So the judgment card, this is some kind of awakening, okay, some kind of breakthrough that invokes forgiveness. So uh, it looks like many of you need to forgive a situation. Maybe you need to even forgive yourself. I'm not sure. But this is a breakthrough for you. It's an awakening that you will, you know, that you are going through, but it starts with forgiveness, okay? So it looks like um, we have that you, your things are heading in the right direction for you, okay? Things are starting to head in the right direction. And I think that. Um, what you have been working on is starting to pay off. It, you may receive some communication from somebody this month that you've been waiting for, maybe a love interest, I'm not sure. You could receive some communication. Um, we do have you here, okay? Um, we also That also signifies uh, Aries and Leo, but it's um, Sagittarius as well. I believe that is probably you. This is... Um, seeking guidance, counseling of some sort. Perhaps you've been really digging deep, 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 deep within. Um, many of you may have sought, ha sought some counseling. Um, could be spiritual counseling, could be a counselor, you know, in the, whatever, the medical field. Could be your inner guide, could be from um, above. But I think a lot of you are working on forgiving this month. Or perhaps you're doing it. You're just like, you know what, I'm just going to forgive the situation. I'm going to forgive myself and I'm going to move on. You do have the resources to do that, by the way. I think many of you have this um, awareness about you. You have a divine connection. Many of you, it looks like you could have an old soul, all right, for many of you. Uh, this will not resonate with all, um, but I do see somebody who is an old soul here, and I think that delays, there's been a lot of delays in what you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for something, and there's been a lot of delays. It's been like things have not been happening and you've been like, well, what the hell? This is ridiculous, okay? I think you you want things to move a hell of a lot faster. This month, I think that you could receive the communication that you've been waiting for, okay? Um, I think that you've been stuck and crying over a situation that, or moping over a situation that didn't turn out the way you had hoped. And I, and I think that you are perhaps deciding to let that situation go and walk away from it because I see I see a lot of forgiveness here, a lot. So I think that you may be forgiving another person or forgiving yourself. I do see that there's grief. Uh, there's grief over things not turning out the way you'd hoped regarding love for many of you, regarding a love situation. Perhaps somebody had another choice and they didn't choose you and it left you independent. You know, it left you on your own. And I think that you are, you are starting to feel grateful that, you know, the prayers weren't answered. And I'm, you know, and whereas you hadn't felt grateful, I think this month you may be feeling like, you know what? 
I'm going to acknowledge this and I'm going to move on from it. Um, and I think that you've done this by really digging deep and we're in healing. Okay. I think that you, there's a breakthrough for you. There's an awakening. So many of you are going through like a spiritual awakening. And I, I truly see that. Um, definitely a spiritual awakening of some sort. Many of you and your choices are changing. So that's when I say that thank God for unanswered prayers. I think that your, your, needs and your desires and your ultimate um, want is has changed okay whereas before you were probably looking for somebody completely different and that's why I mean you guys are going through an awakening and you've decided okay this is that really wasn't what I wanted okay so yeah I think that the, there's a change here a change in mind like I've changed my mind I didn't really want that anyway and that's your wake up call that's your awakening and, and, and you're starting to see that there are other choices choices perhaps you weren't you know you've been rejected and I think that the tides are turning in your favor and that and the change the positive change is right around the corner it is the time of positive change is coming right up and it's you haven't been getting the attention that you desire regarding love, regarding relationship. But I think that it's going to change because you have opened your eyes, okay? I think many of you have opened your eyes and that you're looking for something different now, okay? Sorry, I'm going to, I think I just kicked that out of whack. And my cat needs to go out and I apologize, but... They will jump on the table if I don't let them out and say, you know what, I want to go out, so... I must adhere. <clears throat> Anyhow, I do believe that you were um, hoping for a love situation that didn't turn out and it left you independent and you're still independent for many of you or you're feeling like you're going to be, all right, or you feel alone, all right. But I think that your communication, you know, you could, could receive some communication this month regarding a new partner okay fortunes on your side by the way with that wheel of fortune up there you are going to start a new chapter and a lot of it is spiritual but a lot of it is uh, love as well okay a new chapter is around the corner for you and this is the month of November. And I'm getting chills. I don't know if you can see them on my arm when I said that. A new chapter is around the corner. And you are going to feel so beautiful. And you're going to look beautiful. And this is for a man or a woman. You are going to be vibrating very high. You're letting go of something that had, didn't turn out the way you'd hoped. And that heavy weight is going to be gone. You're, for, you're letting it go. That's your awakening. You're forgiving this. You're forgiving yourself for being stuck in the situation. You're forgiving yourself for uh, thinking it was going to turn out for for making the wrong decision, for wasting your time. You're forgiving yourself, and perhaps you're forgiving your your the other person as well. That's where this wake up call comes in. All right. I'm gonna finish dealing the cards. I have. The, I do this a lot. I have to tell you, you have to have faith and trust in the future. Have faith and trust, okay? Because new love is coming. It is, and it's brand new, all right? It is, it's brand new, okay? I mean, if you're with somebody, there could be a resurgence of a relationship, you know, where the love steps it up a notch and where it may have been lost and there's some forgiveness that needs to happen and then the love comes back. But for many of you, I see an absolute new love. And I say that because at the bottom of this deck is the Ace of Cups. And so far, you are the only sign that I have looked at the bottom of the deck. So I just have to say that it's a time of rebirth. It really is. Good luck is around the corner. For many of you, there could be a pregnancy or, you know, an actual birth. But I see this as a rebirth for you, Sagittarius where things finally start to happen in your favor, okay? I do, that's what I think, and I think it's your hard work pays off. Your hard work with releasing the negative 
and walking away from it and forgiving and awakening and searching. And I think that many of you have been doing some soul searching, okay? And it's really, you guys have really like decided it's time for a change, all right? You have this divine guidance working with you. And I think that you've been working with them too, okay? For many of you. Um, or you've been using your tools. If, if you don't feel the divine connection, but many of you do. But if you don't, you've been using the tools within yourself to forgive and move on, okay? I think that you're taking a very practical approach, all right? And I, I just, I see that you just haven't given up. You have not given up and do not give up, okay? You haven't given up. And this card right here is telling me not to tell you, make sure you don't give up because it's right around the corner. Your new chapter that involves good fortune, and I think this is regarding love, is right around the corner, all right? And I, it does, I think, you know, it, there's going to be a deep attraction between you and another person. All right. There's a connection. There's a soul connection. Now we have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here. We have Cancer, the sign of Cancer. We have the sign of Gemini. We have Leo, Taurus, Virgo, again. Um, that's what I see so far. I see that you guys are letting go of a burden, a big burden, something that's been holding you back. You're ready to move on, okay? And this month, okay, is about forgiveness of yourself. Forgiving yourself for wanting something else, you know, for wasting your time. Forgiving yourself for and acknowledging your needs, okay? Because here I am rubbing my third eye. And that's what I'm doing right now, okay? So I just wanted to let you know that you guys are, you matter. You matter, Sagittarius, okay? And I think that a lot of you need to forgive yourself for any regrets that you have, for anything that you've done that you are regretting, okay? That's all in the past. Look forward. And I think that many of you are releasing your negative thoughts. It is. This is a change from positive, negative to positive. This is this is the this is the focusing your energy. Just reiterated what I said. Focusing your energy in a different direction. Okay, it's there's the fork in the road. Do you focus on positive or do you focus on negative? And many of you are doing that. Now we have three twos. Remember I said earlier. I think I said at the beginning of the reading. Faith and trust. Faith and trust. Don't give up. Don't give up. Twos are about faith and trust. Twos are also about balance and choices and decisions, okay? So this is all in your hands. The decisions that you make, obviously, are all in your hands. Don't beat yourself up for your past decisions because I see that a lot of you are doing that. But this month, I think that you're letting go of that and you're like, you know what? I understand. I've made mistakes. I've done things wrong. I'm moving on from that. I'm thinking positive now. And I think that your positive thinking raises your vibration, okay? And it really changes everything. It brings the... Because when your vibration raises, that's when everything good comes in. So I think that that's what's happening. Your vibration is raising based on all this forgiveness this month. You're just... There's, there's no gripes. Letting go of gripes, okay? Letting go of grudges. No negative, positive, 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 living in the now, okay? And that's your choice. That's your decision. And once you do that, I think that this big, heavy burden that you've been carrying around, like, dissolves. And it becomes, your life starts to change. i got to get the rest of the cards. It brings balance. It does. Mm-hmm. It brings a lot of balance to your life. Because you're letting go of something that no longer serves you. For many of you, 
you're letting go of something. There's a completion. And the completion is in your head. It's a mental completion. It's letting go of something that you were attached to mentally. It hasn't been easy to let it go. That's for damn sure. We have this card twice now. It takes a lot to change your thoughts. It takes a lot to change. And it takes a lot to forgive. Even yourself. It takes a lot to forgive yourself. But you are headed in the right direction, okay, Sagittarius? You have really, you are moving forward. It's like I'm not going back there. I'm moving forward. You're mastering your emotions this month. You really seriously are. You're replacing the fear. Your, your mental strength is on high this month. It's like you cannot break me this month. I am positive and your negative behavior does nothing for me. And you will be very successful. We have the magician in the Ten of Pentacles and the chariot and the chariot here and the wheel. There is success here because of your change of thoughts, your change in direction. I mean, there's security and stability balance, um, just comfortable. I think that you're going to be very comfortable this month. And that's your breakthrough. This is your, this month is a, is a breakthrough for you. And I think it really is a change in direction from negative to positive, leaving all the negative behind. And it's not easy. But you've been working on it and you've developed the skills with this magician card here. You've developed the skills to do that. You should feel proud. That's your awakening. That's your breakthrough. It brings good, good luck, a new chapter. When this wheel comes out, and it's right around the corner. This is around the corner. This hasn't happened yet. But your positive thoughts are going to bring you something wonderful. Life purpose, and I'm going to read that for you. Life purpose, the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose, and then your purpose will serve you. Life purpose. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. This month of November is about forgiveness. And soul searching and digging deep and moving on and letting go of the past and letting the universe drive. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Don't worry about it. Move forward. This says don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you and that's why good luck is right around the corner. Seriously. Everything, a new chapter, is right around the corner. This is November. So this month you want to focus on forgiving. This month is about forgiving. And any negative that comes into your life, acknowledge it and release it. The Ten of Wands is underneath this thing. Acknowledge the negative. That doesn't mean react to it. And, and, and you know, it means, yes, that happened. I acknowledge it, and I release it, and I'm moving on. It's the past. Now it's the past. I'm moving on. I'm not going to think about it another minute. That's what forgiveness is. And that causes a breakthrough, and it raises your vibration. And once you raise your vibration, the good things come in. Just telling you. And that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. 
forgiveness in November.